Welcome to Fight Ball, the world's most intense one-on-one -on -one basketball competition. This is Fight Ball. If you didn't come here to battle, go take up yoga. Welcome to New York City. Welcome to the home and heart of Fight Ball. Played on a 40-foot court with two hoops. Each Fight Ball tournament features eight players in a single elimination format. Comprised of eight minute games, two four minute halves, and a punishing eight second shot clock. This grueling fast paced game leaves no room to hide and no energy to spare. Yeah, it is what you think it's gonna be. Legs heavy, winded. Scoring goes like this. Dunks are three points, a midline shot is two, all other buckets are one. Fouls, no weak stuff here. Two fouls are permitted per player, per half. A third foul gives the opponent a two-point freebie from the midline. Wow, JJ! The Fight Ball 0103 series includes three tournaments, two qualifiers, each with a $10,000 prize, and one final tournament where $100,000 large is up for grabs. Uh-oh, uh oh Wow! 16 players will compete, only one will be crowned, Fight Ball Champion. All right, what's going on, New York City? Make some noise, y'all! Yeah! Let's get things started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Chicago, Billy Bandit Baptist, put your hands together! We're in Chicago on the south side right now. We came from war. You gotta be able to fight when it's going good, and you gotta be able to fight when it's going bad. You ain't fighting at all times, you lose. 2005, I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. I was hospitalized for like three and a half months. So life support, it was a struggle. I made it through. And I mean, I had to do everything from learn to walk again, to build all my strength up everywhere. Since then, I have played in five different countries, NBA level, and I look back upon it like, man, this all could have been over. But the fact that I got a second chance to do it and do it the right way, I'm very much appreciative. Bring it. Chirac, baby. Okay. Now coming to the stage from Long Beach, California, Eric E. Will Williams. I'm not the one that's going to be out there talking. I'm going to get off. You can talk all you want. I don't care about none of that. I'm going to bring it. Just be ready. And we're on the east side of Long Beach where the grass is greener and the crypts is much meaner. I bled on this street. This is what made me into the man I am today. It's tough coming up, but I always had a plan where I was like, I never wanted to go to jail. So I stuck the ball, I stuck the sport. This shit ain't scripted. Homie ain't coming up here making up some shit. Yeah. My boy come out here training, he real deal. It ain't fake. Hey, y'all out there. Probably got some scripted Let's go over this. No, homie, straight raw. All right. Put your hands together for E. Will, y'all! It felt like the championship game from the beginning. Put them on E. E. Will, straight to the puck, too little. No, Billy Baptist, ah, ah. The up and down, high paced game. You gotta be able to think while you tired. That's the best part about it. Like, they matched the two best players up in the tournament at the beginning just to see how we would face them. Put them on the box. That's right. Bucked it. Eric Williams wasted no time maximizing the midline, hitting for two, again and again and again. But Billy Baptist on tough, keeping the game tight through the first four minutes. My shot selection, I could get some rim anytime I wanted to. So, get there. Left side with it. E will no! Thinking about like, if you're gonna be tired, is your legs gonna be heavy? And yeah, it is. Like, what you think it's gonna be. 29 on the clock in the first half. Crossover, jump shot, got it! Let's go, Mr. Baptist. Take him to church. Take him to church. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I play games like this at home when people cry about fouls and I get mad at them. Here, it ain't no crying about fouls. You mad because you missed a shot. Not because you got fouled. It was a loose ball. I'm about to go dunk it. He saw it in my eyes. He tripped me up going for the ball. Just, you know, it was in the game of basketball. So he stopped me from getting the ball, letting the ball go out of bounds, and I don't get a dunk for a three-point play. In the second stanza, Williams overpowered the Windy City ringman. Score it! 
you know, he came right back at me, finishing up the rim, making some tough shots, and uh, that was a really tough game. Billy with it. Billy on his way to bucket. Pump move, chair drop. And yes, sir. One point lead. Billy Baptist in the lead. Fire one. He lets it rain. Knock down. He will up by one. 50 seconds on the clock. Counting. Billy Baptist taking the church. Taking the church. Sunday school. Bucket. I keep thinking about it. Hesitation on his way to the cup. Flight ball. Bucket. Score that one. I'll give you the countdown at 10. This is win or go home. Oh, this is fight ball. Stop looking for fouls. Now down to 10. 14. Billy, no. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, oh. You need it, Billy. Put your hands together for the winner of the first match. He will. Baptist was left lamenting his shot selection down the stretch. My shot selection at the end. It's my game to win. <laughs> Moving on. It wasn't easy. Billy Baptiste put up a hell of a fight. That's why it could have went either way. But <laughs> I'm glad I came out victorious, baby. Good game. Good yeah. work. That's what it's about right there. Yeah, straight up. In other quarterfinal action, Queen's own Malik Booth faced the world's number one ranked three on three player. Serbia's Dusan Bullet. I'm really coming in as an underdog. I'm expecting a whole lot more from myself than anyone else is. I'm not really worried at all about having to go against these big guys. Being short, I had to deal with them my whole life. They're really going to have to worry about getting low and defending me. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. I get to play against the number one guy in the world, so that's going to be a little bit more exposure for me. I heard he has sponsors. That's going to be a chance for me to show those sponsors that he has. That Somebody like me is more marketable. It was really hard to, to grow up in Serbia back in the 90s because there was a lot of wars and happening and a lot of bad people around you. As a 3x3 champion, the number ranking one player in the world, for me it's new experience, new challenge. To be there, you know, in the mecca of streetball in New York City, for me it's like dream come true. Winning all that is going to be legendary. Both players meet me at half. For me, it's a great experience. I always like to take new challenges in my life. When it was time to play, it was time for the pit bull to come off the lead. Work on him, Link! Work on him, Link! My strategy is to just take, him, take whatever he was giving me. I know that a lot of people think that I can't shoot because I really don't shoot the ball. I know he's European from Serbia, so. I figured he'd be able to shoot the ball, so I wanted to uh, test his handle a little bit, not let him just walk in the jump shots. And I think in the beginning of the game, I did that, executed that very well, and it kind of got into his mind. Something. Uh oh. Work off. Oh! The pit ball is off the leash. The pit ball is I, I let him shoot with no contact, and he made the, almost every shot. The pit ball! Six point lead! Malik Booth in the lead! My first game was against Dusan Bullet. You know, he's the number one three on three FIBA player in the world. I had that in mind. Pit bull is off the leash! The pit bull is off the leash! Hesitated him out of his shoes! Out of his shoes! It's not strong, it's not just you don't know what's foul, what's not. And um, because of that, my performance is was mediocre, so I'm not satisfied. Malik Booth got white hot from the white stripe, burying a half dozen two-pointers in a convincing 1913 win. Bullet looked like a deer in headlights as the former St. John's guard worked his way to a W. The winner of the second match, put your hands together for the pit bull, Malik Booth! You can't let these get a running start either because everybody you play from here on out is going to try to back down. Yeah. It's on me. Malik is a really good player and I didn't adopt the rules. He just um, take advantage of that. I mean, the tournament is called fight ball, so you don't expect um, many fouls. The game still went my way. I still got the win. If I can get a second chance, I'll do better. Probably next time I will be more confident in, in my game. Thank you.
Next time on This Is Fight Ball. I pretty much probably can meet anybody in the tournament. If I lose, it's because of me. It's a lot of money on the line. It's just the same result. Protect your body, because I'm going to hurt it. Y'all don't got to respect me. Y'all don't got to like me, but watch your mouth. <laughs>